Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. We were kindly enough to be sponsored in this video by our friendly local game store Battlegrounds who kindly donated to us one of the new Stormcast Eternals models from the Dominion set that they were sent. So we are very excited to bring you a tutorial on how to paint gold armor on the new Stormcast Eternals from Age of Sigmar 3.0. We hope you're gonna enjoy this tutorial, let's begin! So in the first step we're gonna apply uh, thin layers of Balthasar gold to the entire pieces of armor on the model. And make sure you do this thinly so that you don't clog up any of the details. After the Balthazar gold has dried we're gonna apply a thinned out version of the Cryptic armor shade. Uh, to the model, and I mix this with Lamia Medium about 40% Lamia Medium to 60% Cryptic Armor Shade. In step 3, we're gonna apply a 50 50 mix of Balthazar Gold and Scale 75 Dwarven Gold. And I apply this mainly on armor pieces that are exposed to a sense of zenithal highlighting kind of light source. So as you can see, I'm putting this on top of armors that are round and, you know, come from a little bit of an above kind of light source. I apply this highlight with the intention that a smaller one will come after. So think of this as a setup layer for your final highlight. And in the next step we're applying just simply Dwarven Gold to all the armor plates and I'm being a little bit more selective here than the previous layer just to make sure that there's a nice smooth transition from the Balthazar Gold all the way up to the Dwarven Gold. As you can see I am applying this with multiple techniques like dotting, dragging the brush, scraping as I adapt to the surface itself. And after the Dwarven Gold, we're gonna start bringing in a new paint that I've not used a whole lot before. It's called Can of Tech Alloy. And we're gonna mix this with the Dwarven Gold about 50-50. And in the final step, we're gonna highlight all the edges with a Canoptech alloy. And this is really gonna cement the gold and make it look really nice and dingy and worn out just the way that we want to on our warriors. Lastly, I apply another wash of Cryptic Armor Shade to push back the shadows a bit and to clean up any mistakes that I made in step 3 and 4. I also make sure to get the wash in around all of the nubbins to bring those out a bit more as well. And that's it! We hope you liked this tutorial and that it inspired you to paint the new Stormcast Eternals models. This video was made possible by our amazing patrons who kindly donated to keep this public project going. If you want to become a patron, don't hesitate to head over there and pledge your subscription. We post some longer videos for more in-depth tutorial when we have extra material to spare. You can also contribute by shopping some Oscar Lars Painting Studio merchandise. The links to these are down in the video description. The intro video was created by Robbie Shieldstone and editing was done by the amazing Martin Kramer. The sculpt we used is a Stormcast Eternal Annihilator from Games Workshop Dominion box set. Please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching and happy painting!